We have nothing to announce from our closed session. And uh, from our last meeting, I was actually called by a, a, a friend of mine, and we're actually being televised. Don't know if you guys know that. He saw the whole thing on, on and I had no idea. So it's kind of nice to know. You that dressed up tonight. I did. That's good, yeah. Yeah, I didn't wear my hoodie. Or gym clothes, yeah. yeah. Good move. So yeah, he, was at, he actually called me, not to say, you know, that, that we looked bad, but he just wanted to let us know that, um, that he enjoyed the meeting. And I said, oh, how did you see it? I didn't see it in the audience. And he said, well, it was on TV. So good to know that we're being recorded and people can watch us from home. So that's excellent. So let's do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. But see, that makes more sense now that I know why a lot of people don't come to the audience because they're watching at home. Sure, I'm sure there's a giant audience watching at home. Yeah, they're probably yeah, eating pizza and watching us. So. Okay, roll call. Um, I, uh, we have Catlin here, uh, Andy here, and me. We're missing so far Guy and um, Mr. DePaulo. Joe DePaulo is not going to make it here tonight. He uh, is, has an excused absence. Um, notice to the public. Any member of the public wishing to address the governing board on a topic within the subject matter jurisdiction of the district but not on the agenda may do so during the public comment period identified in this agenda. By law, subjects not on the agenda cannot be acted upon by the board except to briefly respond, clarify, or refer to staff and refer review and presentation at a future meeting. The board president will recognize you for public comment on matters on the agenda at the appropriate time. Do we have any correspondence? No. Consent agenda? Nothing. Any public comment? I'm seeing none. Any guests and presentations? No. None? All right. Uh, director's report. A, uh, budget report. Okay, um, we're at 83% of the fiscal year, and it's looking like we're going to go over with personnel costs this year by approximately $32,000 due to raises and increased insurance cost. But um, as to how we're gonna handle that, I'm not quite sure at this point. We have $155,000 left in the supply budget as of 430, which can be transferred over if we don't use up all of that or we might have to ask uh, the board next time to possibly uh, transfer some money from the surplus so those are the two options so but um, I should know by the next time and so um so for the next year we'll just kind of up that budget a little bit so yeah we, okay yeah. or modify the budget to reflect the, the updated expense yeah, the other thing is the, the audit is about two-thirds done. They're supposed to come back and finish the audit, and that might impact the budget as well. Were they uh, going to make the adjustments to the uh, Miller Building estimate? Oh, Miller Building's coming up in, oh, okay. in a little bit. Okay. All right, any questions on the budget? Um, the other thing is that we should have a preliminary report on the 15-16 budget next meeting as well. All right, any questions? All right, library activities. Uh, we did have Bill Paul come. He talked about the Carissa Carpenter uh, escapade. We had eight people attend, and I went to that. I, I read some of that book. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was interesting. Uh, and he did donate a copy of the library, so we do have one, one yeah. at the library if people care to read it. Um, we're getting ready for summer reading club. I made a list of all the different programs that we're doing, and I think everybody has a, a list as the next thing. Um, right. The inventors lab, they're coming for free. They're going to show kids how to make uh, cars out of rubber bands. We've got um, people from UC Davis Raptor Center coming. Um, have you guys been there before? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's free on the weekends. And uh, you can walk around. They have, I don't know, around 30 different birds there. Um, owls, eagles, hawks, uh, falcons, etc. So they're going to bring them to the library? Yeah. That's yeah. So cool. Actually, um, at the farmer's market, almost every time I've been there, they've had people there walking around. And it's all birds that can't survive on their own. They all have, like, injured wings or, or some reason that they can't really live out in the wild. So they take care of them there and educate the public about what, what the birds do. 
Wow. So I think that'll be fun because the kids always like any of the animal stuff. Um, we have Peter Appel. He's a children's singer-songwriter from Berkeley. Um, the Traveling Bee Show, they actually bring a really big um, beehive that's enclosed behind glass so the kids can watch the bees, which are kind of cool. I've seen those before. Yeah. And then he'll talk about bees and how important they are to the environment. Um, 4-H, we're, they're are coming for sure. We're not sure exactly what they're going to do. The last time they came, they did a show on snails, so I really don't know exactly <laughs> what this, this topic's going to be. Um, we've got two different magicians, we've got some face painters, and we've got a bilingual puppet show. And not on the list is uh, Mad Science is coming for the, the finale show from Sacramento. So that's, that's what we've got going on. The Friends of the Library, um, I went to their meeting on Tuesday and they agreed to pay for all the programs. So Great. that was generous of them. So it's nice to, to have that funding. All right. Any questions on activities? All right. Ongoing business, update on the Miller Building. There's not much of an update. Um, Joe and I like worked on a, a preliminary proposal. We met with a um, contractor and a couple drafts people, and they wanted to look at um, the report that the architect had done from Vallejo a couple years ago. And he was out of town the entire month. So I finally got in touch with him. He's supposed to send me over a copy of that report. And I found a couple of, of files in storage on, on Miller that they wanted to look at too before they actually draw up something. So hopefully by next time we'll have something drawn up and maybe have an idea of what it might cost. All right. Any questions? Okay, new business. Revision to the internet use policy. Yeah, um, we've got four computers back in the children's section. Uh, two of them have authentication, meaning that the people have to put their library card number in to use them. But two of them are Macs, and so the Macs can't be hooked up to the, the rest of the computers. So any adult that goes back there can actually just sit down and get on the internet. And I would like to come up with some sort of uh, policy that would limit adults back there. Um, but what I was thinking of, this is what I have, is um, computers in the children's department are for the use of patrons under the age of 18 or by children accompanied by their parents. Because we do have one person that's figured that out. And once their time's up on the regular computer, she just goes back there. So I, w I would rather not have adults back there unless they're back there with their kids. OK. That makes sense. All right. Do you want an action on this one? Yeah. yeah. OK. OK. Any discussion on this? Do we have a motion? Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Did you? Well, I was just going to say, is, is 18 too old, or would you, would you rather limit it down to? Well, we don't have we don't have any computers in the teen department, so the ones back there kind of are the teen computers as well. Okay. They have lots of games. Uh, they all have Minecraft, which is really popular. All the kids go back there to play that. So I, I think teenagers should be able to use it. Okay. Any other questions? Do I have a motion? I'll move. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion, a second. Any public comment? See none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes. Okay, the Children's Library and Search update. Yeah, I don't know if everyone knows, but Adrienne's going to be living, leaving at the end of the month. Uh, May 29th is her last day. Um, She's moving back to New Jersey. Her father's been ill, so she wanted to move back to be close to family. And her only sister is, I think, seven months pregnant, so she also kind of wanted to get back for that, too. So she's leaving, which will be kind of a big gap because she's been really good. She's been here a year, but she's really done lots of great things for the library. But um, we've interviewed five candidates. We had uh, 48 people apply. Um, the top five candidates, three of them for, one were from the East Coast, one was from Stockton, and one was from Concord. Um, 
the the top two candidates right now it closes tomorrow so somebody could come in at the last minute but um, top two candidates it's kind of interesting they're both men which is unusual for children's librarians in my experience um, one one was the guy from Stockton one guy's from Springfield Massachusetts and I was going to bring the guy from Stockton up for a second interview physically but I didn't know whether we should bring in the, the guy from Massachusetts. Um, the closest airport is Hartford, and the cheapest flight that I could find was around $650. So, Can we Skype interview him? Yeah, that's how we did it, yeah. did the first round. So I was thinking we could do the second interview yeah. via Skype rather than bring him in. Yeah. That would make yeah, I think more sense. Because it, it just seemed pretty costly with that. It would probably be around $1,000 to bring him in for a few hours, which... I think it's important that he see the, the town and the area, uh, though, before he would uh, potentially accept the job. Well, he has some familiarity with it. Um, okay. Before he worked in, in Massachusetts, he worked in Oakland and San Francisco. Oh, okay. So he grew up in the area, so he has some familiarity mm -hmm. I don't know how much he really knew about Dixon but everyone knows about Dixon right <laughs> isn't it the last town in the Bay Area yeah before you leave the Bay Area right yeah, yeah. last and the best right. <laughs> all right okay so I guess we're not gonna do an action on that one yeah. then um, right. the next one the transfer of property I don't know if everyone had a chance to look at that or not But basically, the city of Vacaville was asking us to um, transfer quite a few properties at $1 per property to them um, after the redevelopment um, agency was dissolved a couple years ago. And I had some information that I was unable to confirm. I was told that um, the, the State Board of Education was recommending that um, everyone affected by this um, except the proposals but I was unable to confirm that by looking on the internet uh, quite extensively and the person that told me that was wasn't able to uh, be communicated with today so I'm not really sure if that that information is 100% accurate so I don't know if um, you want to vote on this tonight or um, wait until we can confirm that? I mean, I, I, something like this, I think I'd rather wait to confirm. Okay. W when are they looking for an answer on this? Like, do we, ha is it, do we have a month? Do we have a couple weeks? Um, they didn't give me any kind of deadline. Um, I got back to Vacaville and said that um, I was going to confer with council and see after the meeting what, what our progress in making a decision was on it. So. Okay. I feel comfortable getting back to them saying that we're not ready to decide at this point. Okay. I, I mean, I, I would like that. Yeah, I mean, the redevelopment was, was over three years ago, so the fact that they're just getting to us now is, I mean, you know, if we take an extra month, isn't probably going to, you know, kill them. And this seems to be a big deal that I'd rather the whole board be here to vote on. Sure. Um, yeah, and I do think we need a little more information, but I also think that we've sort of worked ourselves out of having this be something that's of real importance to us by our other agreements with them in terms of, of getting out of some of that area. So I'm not really sure. Maybe we should find out a little bit more about how tied in we really are to this anymore, considering the fact that um, with our boundaries not, over, you know, trying not to make our boundaries overlap anymore, that I'm not sure how connected we are to these properties anyway. Oh, okay. And do we, do we see money for these properties? Well, one dollar if we accept their agreement per property. No, he's, he's but, like now. Potentially. At this point right now, they're just property that we own. No, they're, property, they're properties that we somehow held, and we should probably maybe find out a little bit of history, but things went into the redevelopment agency, and then the redevelopment agency was disbanded, and so we have some interest in that. Okay. But I don't think that we own anything. I think that we just or have we even an get interest any, in or it. Or we even get any revenue right, for it. Right, I don't think it, we get right. any revenue for it. I think, right, I think we just have an interest in it. And maybe that's, maybe some historical perspective would be helpful to make a decision as well. And so Vacaville needs to have full interest in the property in order to be able to develop it later right okay. yeah, yeah i mean if you look at the like the properties are in downtown vacaville i mean there's no right it's literally their library parking lot at one point yeah i mean there's it's not like the boundary on like leisure town where it's right. questionable who owns what it's right. literally in vacaville 
And so I think the question is, what was our interest to begin with? And, you know, and it does any of that even apply now that we've given up, you know, by our other agreements, all the rights to all of the other stuff? Right. So, I mean, are we really connected to this anyway anymore? And maybe that's what our attorneys can help us to answer. Okay. Yeah. Um, they indicated that um, the school board probably, or the school district probably got a similar letter too. And I, I didn't know if you guys would know more about we that. We haven't seen anything yet. Okay. Okay. All right. So you have your direction then? Yeah. Okay. All right. And last item. Approval of the minutes from March 12th. move oh, we have a motion I'll second we have a second any public comments any further board comments on this all in favor aye, aye. all right okay do we have any board announcements no? all right meeting adjourned